called Casual Dresser here and today I'm bringing you a video that is very different from all the other videos I brought you. Um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you some jackets. There's 28 of them to show you, including this star piece. If you can't guess what it is, brilliant, because that means you're going to watch all the way to the end until you see it. So this is going to be item number 28. The reason why it's going to be different, um, I'll tell you on the other side. <laughs> Okay, so let me tell you why this video is going to be slightly different. Normally, I show you the jackets that I'm going to have for sale, I tell you the measurements, I tell the item, when it was made, um, and then it's up to you, Ted, across to my Instagram to message me when the items go up for sale. Now, people don't know this, but in my Instagram, so here it is here, I've got over 6,000 followers, but actually the Instagram was made on the back of my YouTube. I started my YouTube in lockdown and it's sort of gone from there. So, what I plan to do today is, is that I'm not gonna put these jackets for sale on my Instagram, or not yet. I'm gonna upload the video, and then if you want to buy one of these, I want you to head across to my Instagram, and I want you to throw me a good offer for the jacket. Now, these jackets are not cheap jackets, okay? I found them from a guy from the last collection that I uh, uploaded, and he sold me the rest of his Stone Armour collection, and yeah, I paid a high price for them, but there are some beautiful jackets that I wanted you to see. Jackets that over the time when I started collecting um, when I was 18 through to now, I've had and I've let go and it's just nice to see them all in one place again. So yeah, follow me through, 28 items. If you want any of them, head across to my Instagram uh, and yeah, send me a message. Please, 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 before we start this video, like the videos, comment, comment your best jacket out of all these, which ones you most like to have uh, and make sure you subscribe. Set the alerts for when I have videos coming because a lot of my items that I'm going to drop will come on YouTube first. And this is my first to say, you guys, watch my videos. Thank you. You're going to get first dibs on these jackets. Let's get into it. Okay, first jacket. Here it is. It is the Stone Island Telestella. It's from 2013. It's a summer season. It's a medium and it's 21 inch. So it's based upon the 2012 Telestella smock, and this is the 2013 field jacket range. Again, you've got your red with your green lining, it says Telestella on the plate inside, and it's got a zip away hood. It's a great one to start with, it's an absolute classic. You don't find many of these anymore. You know what to do. If you want it, like the rest of these, go to Instagram, drop me a message about the Telestella 2013. Boom. Right, this next one is an absolute beauty. So it's called uh, the Stone Island Nylon Metal Spider Watero. It's like new with tags. I'm gonna bring it close to the screen so you can see it. It's a large at 25 inch pit to pit. So it's made to be a bit oversized and it's a summer season 2018. Now, what you've got is you've got a shimmer material. So it's hooded. Okay, you've got shimmer material, but actually the detail on it if you can see, you've got all these little lines that run across it. It's almost like a spider has been weaving a web on it. It's a really simple jacket in terms of it hasn't got um, loads of additional parts to it. You've just got your four front pockets. You've got a back zip pocket. I think that's a zip pocket. Let me check for you. Yeah, you've got a back zip pocket, hooded. But it's the little details. And obviously, like I said, shadow stuff is going to be, this will be the last year, so grab some of these shadow pieces. But it's an absolute beauty. It's a classic. Um, RRP, when this was bought, was 795 And it's like a brownie golden colour. An absolute banger. Look at this. 2013 OVD camo large. Let me check the pit to pit on it for you. 22 and a half inch pit to pit. Now... I've had some of these before. I've never had this particular one. I've had the red one, which I'm going to show you again soon. This one is an absolute beauty. So, it's non-hooded. The colours on it, so this is a rarer colour OVD jacket. Um, obviously, the badge to the arm. But what you've got with this one is you've got an inner liner that is Dutch roped in. You can see that there. Um, yeah, I've never had one of these in hand. And I've had an awful lot of jackets. And when I saw this, I was like, I've got to have it. Um, so it is for a large wearer. And is it a summer season? It is an autumn winter. Of course it is, because it's got an inner inside anyway. 
Um, but yeah, it's light new and you won't see many more, especially with the inners. Um, and when you take the inner out, to be fair, if you take the inner out on this, this could quite easily be a spring season jacket. Beauty. Now, whereas the last one, you could take the inner out, this one is built like an absolute tank. It's another shadow project. There are loads of shadow projects coming up. Uh, it's another 2013, it's another large, and it's another 22 and a half inch pit to pit. This time, you're not making this any lighter. This is an autumn winter piece. It is a shadow field jacket. It's four pocket. It's a really, really simple design. Um, it's buttoned at the front as well. So you've got a button over a zip. And if I open this up, say that, it's hard to do and say. Inside is completely quilted. And that is non-removable. So this is built to last and it's built for winter. So if you want to grab a winter piece now, for next winter, this is the piece. It is a stunner, and you won't see many out there. Okay, 2014, summer season, it's a large, again, 22 and a half inch. I hope these little bits of snippets of video are fitting together quite well. I didn't want to talk too much, I just wanted to show you what I've got, because guys just want to see the jackets, and girls. Um, this is a mixed fiber Panama Watero jacket. So you've got, it's a hooded jacket, but the hood, is actually like the liners is Dutch roped on. So you can take that off if you don't want the hood. And the hood is peaked. It's a lovely, lovely piece. Really simple. Two front pockets, nothing at the back. Um, and it's like a, almost like a denim color, a little bit brighter than a denim color. Perfect for the summer, spring season. So get on this one. Um, yeah, mixed fiber, Panama, Watero jacket, boom. Now I said to you in the comments, bang, which jacket you feel is the best out of all these. I'm going to say these next couple are my favourites. Um, this is a 2014, it's a summer season. It is, as the tag says, um, a reverse process piece. So it's a large 22 and a half inch. Why do I like it? I like the outer. Um, so reverse process, um, we've got the greens and the black camo colours on there. It is light new, it is absolutely outstanding. I also like the inside. Um, so we've got a stud over a zip. And the inner, the colors on that are absolutely wicked. Um, it's stood the test of time, that's just a bit of dust from my door. Um, and it is an absolute beauty. We've got two front big pockets, nothing on the back, but it has got hood. It's got a hood in there, but I kept the hood away. Um, yeah, this is one of my favourites, and the next one. Now, this could be my favourite piece, which is strange because it's a middle badge item. So the badges in the middle are literally a normal Stone Island badge, but wrapped around the centre rather than being on the arm. Um, so it's called a Cotton Cordura jacket. Um, and yeah, no badge on the arm, four front pockets, but the colour is absolutely banging. It's from 2019, it's a large summer season, and it is a 22 and a half inch pit to pit. I think this is absolutely brilliant. It's got an inner hood as well that can be buttoned away. The color on it is absolutely fantastic. I hope you agree. Um, and surely this is a pub jacket for the spring summer season. Wow. Okay, it's comes up slightly bigger. It's a large at 23 and a half inch pit to pit. It's a summer season. Um, and it's a 2018 uh, 50 Philly Ghost piece. Again, it's like new. Find a collection where you have all the tags still present on it. So you've got the arm tag there, the 50 Philly. The ghost piece obviously is the same colour dyed as the actual garment itself. It's got shop tags still. So the RRP on this when it was bought was £750. Comes with a hood. It is so simplistic. It's a Parker length. It is an absolute beautiful piece. Um, and when it says summer season, um, yeah, you could wear it in summer season, but I don't think you'd be wearing a long jacket maybe in summer season. So it's probably fit for most seasons, um, but I'd probably wear it in spring and autumn really. But that doesn't come as a, a couple on, summer, on the Stone Island charts. It's got to be spring, summer, autumn, winter, so it probably matches incorrectly, but it's an absolutely fantastic jacket. Bang.
2012 large 22 inch it's a reflex mat um, and it has been stored perfectly so here's your reflex mat so obviously it uh, shines when a light goes on it so it's a reflective material again with a tag on the arm normally these are peeling by now this is a near perfect example it's got a hood that's tucked away um, two front pockets and the colour on it is absolutely beautiful when it shines. This is the green one and this is the summer season. I say that because next I'm going to show you the winter version. So that was the 2012 summer version. This is the 2013 autumn winter version. It's the blue one and this is built like a tank on a tank on a tank. So we've got, there's your badge. This is a four pocket, but it's a padded jacket. The inner cannot come out. It is just a padded jacket. And when this shines blue, it shines blue. Now, normally these are all peeling. This is pretty much as mint as you are going to get one of those jackets. There are a few little bits. It's not really sticky, but there are a few just under the hood. Tiny, tiny little areas where it's not sticky, but you can see a little bit of a, a sheen to it. Um, it's been kept perfect. There are not many of these available anymore that have been kept in this condition. Um, I know it's not the winter season at the moment, but I'll put these aside and sell them in the winter. But if you want it now, you know what to do. Head over to my Instagram. You won't find another one of these. Reflex Max 22 Max. Reflex Max. 22 inch large. It's probably going to fit more a medium wearer. Incredible. So I showed you the other OVD with the liner inside. This is the winter OVD. It's an autumn winter 2013. It is, I need to make sure I get these right for you, see. It is a large at 22 and a half inch pit to pit. Autumn winter 2013. Uh, and this is the red colour. So these have stood the test of time. I've not seen many of these that are ever falling apart. It is padded, so it is purely for the winter season. Um, and it is a beautiful jacket. I know I say that, but I only really buy jackets that look nice. Um, the detail in it is really, really good. The camo is brilliant. Um, I'm not saying you don't see these now. There are some because they have kept in good condition. The ones that fall apart, the jackets that fall apart, you don't see many of them anymore. These have uh, stood the test of time. Um, and it's certainly a brilliant jacket for the winter season. So if you fancy it, you know what to do. Okay, 2015, large, 22 inch pit to pit. I don't know about you, but I like jackets when they come with tags. So again, you've got the arm tag and it is the Stone Island Shadow Jersey R jacket. Now, some of you will remember that I have a smock. I actually dug it out of the cupboard the other night for someone to wear because um, they had no jacket with them. Um, and I just love the simplicity of these. These are absolutely brilliant. So this isn't a smock, this is the zip tracksuit jacket. Um, and so simple, but so effective. You won't see many of these anymore. This is the ultimate sit down with a pine in the beer garden in the summer. Um, it's a banger. And let me just check the year in case I haven't given you it. It is 2015 summer season, large, 22. I won't miss this one. This is bang. It's a medium. It's 22 inch. It's from 2019 summer season and it's a striped or strip it, but we'll go striped. Striped nylon metal shadow. Again, another shadow jacket. Simplistic. So it's got like a shimmer to it uh, with the materials. We've got a little inside pocket at the front here. We've got, and that's it for the front. We've got two diagonal pockets. Yeah, you come in, Doc. Two diagonal pockets that zip away. And in the back is pretty much simple. Um, if I undo this zip, inside you've got these straps that if you're too hot on a summer's day, you can just wear it as a bag or over your shoulders, which is a really, really nice design feature. Again, you won't find many of these. And again, it's a shadow. I love the shadow pieces more than anything. It's my favorite range. Yeah, it's gone downhill in recent years. Yes, that's probably why they're getting rid of it, but 
you can't really beat a shadow piece. Right, this is an unusual one because this is the tank shield, as you can see on the arm here. Um, it's from 2017. It's summer season, XL at 23 and a half. Right, summer season, I'm not sure really. Summer season in terms of rain um, and being shower proof, possibly, but it's quite a substantial jacket. There isn't any padding to it, and I'm going to show you the ones with padding soon. Um, it's khaki in colour. It's got four front pockets. This is a nice design feature. This pocket's slightly different um, at the front. It is rainproof. I suppose you could have it for spring. You're not wearing this in summer. I'm sorry, but you're not wearing this in summer. They have huge RRPs. Huge RRPs. So try and find a steal. Again, if you just tuned in now, if you fancy something, head across my Instagram and send me a personal message and we'll try and get some deals done before I actually put it on my Instagram site because people keep cherry picking the best and not actually watching any of my videos. And that's why I'm here, to do YouTube videos. So this is a banger, it's XL, you know where it is. And here's the matching track. So top, 2017, summer season. It is a large 22 and a half inch. Same colour, khaki colour as the jacket. It's really simple. It's got the same style pocket on the front. So you can tell that it's from uh, the same year. Um, khaki badge, really simple. There's not a lot much to say, or not a lot more to say than there's loads more jackets as well. Fancy this, you know what to do. Look at all these coming. Right, this is like the bigger brother that Olive wanted to show you. So this is season. 2019 now this is the ghost piece in cream but this is a tank shield with an inner so it's an autumn winter it's 24 inch so it's about 23 and a half inch it's perfect for an xl wearer but this is some piece so you've got the normal pockets on the front four normal pockets on the front but if you zip this down and you open it up you'll see you've got a liner that is zippable you see that quilted liner down and um, what an extraordinary piece and it zips off at both sides so you can be left with a jacket that would resemble the olive one you've just seen summer season now this has had its certain logo cut and if you look on the shop tag the same reasons it's had its information taken away um, i know it's legit i know it's legit as well because i've sat down with the guy and gone through all his pieces and um, i've talked about the reluctance to buy items that have had certain logos cut i mean this one i can offer you assurance that it is real but it is an absolute beast of a jacket it's got a hood in here as well it has got absolutely everything and the rrp was just astronomical it was massive this is a belter now i have never seen this actual jacket item itself 2013 it's a summer season it's a masala gamata jacket um, and it's an XL at 23 inches. Uh, and it's a shadow project. I haven't seen it before. It's so simple. So it's no hooded. Um, it's a zip top. And it is in outstanding condition, just like all these jackets are. Um, shame it doesn't have its arm tag with it, but that's just one of those things. This would be perfect for the beer garden. Um, did I mention what if it was summer season? It is summer season. Um, and it is ideal for summer season. And it's shower proof as well. I've never seen one. You know what to do if you want to get this one. Um, again, the shadow badge just absolutely pops on this. Look at that. Okay, another XL, another 23 inch. This is a 2000 and 2013 summer season. It's a peaked hooded field jacket and it is brilliant. So it's got two front pockets, it's got your button um, frontage and it's not a zip frontage. Your neckline comes nice and high if you want to because it's got this riot mask bit to go over your face. And the actual hood itself is a peaked hood, which you don't often see anymore. The inside of the hood's got a few little pink marks in it. I don't know if I can show you. I'm just being very pedantic. There you go. So there's a few little pink marks inside the hood, that is. Um, and the hood does come off because, again, it is Dutch roped into the jacket itself. What a simple jacket, or what a lovely jacket. 2013, again, you're not going to see a lot of these jackets. 2013, that's 10 years ago, and these have been kept in tip-top shape.
Now, I don't want to describe a jacket as cute, but this one is cute. This is an XL, it's 2013, it's 23 and a half inch pit to pit, and it's called Stone Island Shadow David Teflon jacket. Again, I've not owned one of these before, so there are not many around. So you've got your all dark navy jacket with these beautiful white buttons that contrast it. So there's some real design work gone into this one and the shadow badge on the arm. Um, you've got some front pockets, some zipped front pockets that are almost like a hidden pocket. You can put your badge inside there. You've got two side pockets that are both zipped pockets. It's non-hooded and the rest of it's real simple. I love this jacket. Um, when I saw it in his collection, I was like, I've got to have that one. I paid a bit for it, but I've never seen another one. And that is what Stone Island's about. And that is the nice thing about Stone Island. That loads of things that come on the market are like, you've just seen loads of them. These, you haven't seen many of them at all, including this next one. I told you I haven't seen many of these. 2011, autumn, winter, Stone Island reflective gilet. It's 22 and a half inch pit to pit, but really pit to pit goes away in a gilet because there's no real pits. But it's 22 and a half from there to there. So it's, an, it's for an XL fitter. It glows golden slash silver and it is in outstanding condition. So you've still got the original reflective tags there. You've, the original shop tags. It is insane to find something like this. The hood obviously zips away. I've just got it out to show you. It's special process here on the side. Now, normally these are completely peeled away. The only thing this has got is a tiny, if you can see here, I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to be, a little bit of peeling just here. Apart from that, this is in pristine condition. Imagine wearing this to the pub. A car drives past, the lights hit you and you just shine up. Um, wow. I've never seen or held another one of these. A very special piece that's been kept in as good a condition as you possibly really could. Um, one for a collector. Um, hit me up. Okay, this is a bit of a newer piece. 2019, it's summer season. It is a large at a 24 inch, I think. 24 inch pit to pit. So the modern size in these come up a lot bigger. Um, it is the Membrana Free Owl with dust colour finish. Um, and I know loads of people are after these. Um, still got the tags on from Mr. Porter. So it's never even been worn. It is brand new with tags. Um, it's a Parker length, a little bit longer. Four front pockets. Um, yeah, I really don't need to say too much more about this. People know what these are because they weren't released that long ago. Well, it's four years old now. Um, but it is, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very nice jacket. If you want one brand new with tags, come and get it. Now, when we talk about your favourite jackets, this nearly made it. This is 2013, and it's a large at 23 inch, and it's a 3D cotton teller. The reason why it's 3D is because if you can see, the actual material itself has got like a 3D print to it. Um, again, tell me something from 2013 that has um, all its tags like this. Shop tags, arm tags, and it is mint condition. So on the front, you've got four pockets. Again, it's just the texture of it, it looks brilliant. And the orange color, oh my God, what a color that is. And it is a summer season as well. Imagine wearing this in the beer garden. No one else has got one on. Um, yeah, it nearly made it, it nearly made it to the top of my list, but it didn't quite make it to the top of my list. But it's a beauty. And I've got another mixed fiber Watero, Watero Panama jacket. God, it's a lot of jackets to remember. Um, similar to the blue one, but this is the gray one. It is a large at 23 and a half inch, and it's from summer season 2013. It is, I like the Panama jackets. I like the material because there is very little chance of you ripping that material. Um, they're quite simple, perfect with a pair of jeans. And then you've got your back, you've got your peaked hood again, that can be taken off because it is Dutch roped, and then it's got a nice grey lining inside it. Simple piece, beautiful piece, they're not cheap, they're not cheap pieces. Really well made, you know where they are. Right, I've got three in my hand, the reason is I've brought all the marinas together, I know they're really popular. So I put a picture up on Instagram of the jackets that I had, 
or I've just got in and they've got so many messages about these marinas, it's unbelievable. So let me show you them all one by one. Um, so the first one we've got is a really, really popular piece. So this is the Stone Island Marina um, 50 Philly folded marina print. It's a medium at 22 and a half inch and it's from summer season 2017. Lads and lasses love these because of the back. Stone Island Marina written there. It's got three pockets at the front. I mean, this is your typical summer season piece. Um, it's really lightweight, just a zip from. You've got the original shop tags here. I mean, they're not these priced anymore. You can't get them, but they were 495. This person got it for 295. I would be selling it at 295, but if you want to get across to me and ask me about it, please do. But let's look at the other two marinas. I'm going to bang them into the same part of the video. So I've got the white and I've got the blue. They are Tele Marina R jackets. We've got in both in medium. Both 2012, both summer season at 23 inch. Why are they special? Right, people like the simplicity of them. Some lads like to wear Stone Island, but they don't want badges on show. So that is a plus for this. It is literally a plain jacket until, bang, we turn them around. And as you can see, it says Stone Island Marina uh, on the neck. And that glows up in the dark. So at night time, that is an absolute piece. Um, they come with all the tags and Velcro neck leads to a glow in the dark hood. I believe they're glow in the dark. Someone can correct me in the comments if they're not, but I believe these are glow in the dark hoods as well. Um, and the front is also, I mean, you've got a lot here. So you've got Velcro and zip and popper frontage you can see why these are so popular these will not be going for cheap i'd rather hold on to them because actually a collector's piece this is what it is and the white one but if you do fancy these and i know some of you do head across let's chat let's see if we can sort something out can you hear all the birds singing it's a lovely day and we're near the end of this video this is uh the final piece for I unveil this one unveil reveal unveil unveil um, and it is a 2013 autumn winter large 22 and a half inch pit to pit garment dyed reps New York down jacket. So it's half and half. I remember when I used to have these back in the day um, and they didn't go for very much at all. Now, if they're kept in lovely condition, God, look at way we do this for a jacket. I shouldn't be caressing a jacket, but it's a beautiful winter jacket. Um, I don't really need to sell this, I'll put it aside until winter, but if you fancy it and you do want it, get in contact. It's a really simple jacket. We've got pockets like the bag jacket that I showed the other week. They're in little pockets of uh, down, so it doesn't all clump together or drop to the bottom of the jacket. And the down, the padding is absolutely brilliant. It's a rust colour and it is mint. Let's look what's in here. And so that brings me to the last piece. This is the bee's knees. This is the holy grail. This is the piece that a lot of collectors will want. And this is not a piece you can just go and buy and for pocket money. This is a substantial piece. So in here, you will see that we have, and I'll probably add some pictures of this because I haven't got it all done out or done up. Um, let me take it off this bag. Let me take the bag off. Let's not be silly. So we've got... Here we go, keep the bag away. That's my own bag, by the way, CP Company. So, it is a 2009 autumn winter. It is the Eta Throop 20th anniversary. It's a large, it's a 52, it's a CP Company. It is the Bee's Knees. You can see the picture here. It is a deconstructed jacket that clicks together. So you've got the main body of the jacket itself with the CP Company watch viewer you've got front pockets galore you've got side pockets this little bag comes off and the idea obviously is the millie millie meagly jacket is for the racers in the cars so if you want to check your watch hence the watch viewer it stays in there you can just wipe that screen so you can see your watch but what then happens is you've got i'll show you in here you've got gloves the gloves 
have got a watch viewer circle that when you attach them, let me try and do this. I won't attach it, but I'll show you. So this glove effectively comes up over here, over the top of the watch viewer, and then it buttons into place. So the jacket itself has, and it comes with two, let me get the other one out. Two millimeagly gloves. And that is a complete millimeagly racing suit. I know lads who are absolutely just avid CP collectors. Um, I quite like, I like the 88 and the 89 millimeagles. The rest of them, I can, I can take it or leave it. This is one I want to put my hands on. This doesn't need to leave my collection. If you are a serious, serious collector and you want to put your hands on it, then message me on Instagram and maybe we can talk. Apart from that, it's just a beautiful jacket. And if I open it up, and just put the gloves there. It is lined inside, beautiful lining. This inner comes out because it's all buttoned in. And then you can see here, that's the goggle jacket. All weather, air to fruit. Um, absolutely sensational. And I want to leave this till the end because this is the grail piece. This is the creme de la creme of CP Company. It's a 20th anniversary piece. If you want it, you know what to do. That is a lot of jackets. That's 28 of the most beautiful pieces I've seen for a long time. Um, I'll chat to you in a second. And so that brings me to the end of another video. That was a long, well, it might have been not the longest video, but it was 28 items. That took an awful lot of putting together. You've got to think when you make a video, I need to write down what the jacket's called, what year it's from, what size it is, what pit to pit it is. Then I've got to shoot it, then I've got to edit it. And if you like the videos, please do press like, please do subscribe and please spread the word. If you put it on your Instagram and tag me, it shows that you support me. I put a message on Instagram the other day saying that I don't want people just cherry picking the best items. So they just sit on Instagram, bang, can I have this, bang, can I have this, bang, can I have this. And actually they don't support me, they don't watch my YouTube videos. It's about my YouTube channel and then I'll sell items. So if you've seen anything on there that you fancy, Message me on Instagram, let's try and work out a price together and I'll get it sent to you. I am 100% reliable, I've never let anybody down when selling items. So, you know what to do. Thank you for watching um, and I'll see you next time.